Welcome back. We are here on YouTube looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Ether, where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, we have pulled back towards the 50 moving average and then rallied. At this current stage, we're trading just above the 20 exponential at give or take 30. Uh, well, we're trading at roughly uh, 31 point to 78 dollars at this current stage technical indicators are all turning around except for the macd that is just underneath the signal line but we're still above zero so we're still in this uh, uptrend that has not really um, changed even though we saw a lot of uh, choppy trading last week it looks like we are basically rounding off here and this was basically as low as this market would go at this current stage so 57.26 is basically was basically the bottom at this market at this current stage. So if we break above the middle of the bullish band, that will probably go towards 67.71. And uh, yes, technical indicators are basically all turning around at this current stage. So let's look at the natural gas. So natural gas has broken above the 20 exponential. And uh, yes, we are basically probably going to have another run at the 50 moving average at give or take uh, 2.726. Uh, 200 moving average offered a massive amount of support in this market. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So momentum at this current stage is to the upside. Uh, we are still in the period of the year where usually prices tend to fall like we see right here and we see like here the period where we usually have a spike in the winter months and then you have a gradual decline uh, to the downside so but at this current stage we have found major support at the 200 moving average and it looks like we are going to see another uh, rally towards the 50 moving average at this current stage Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 200 at give or take 2.5531 at this point. So let's look at copper. So copper is technically, well, just um, gradually grinding towards uh, the, what you can say, the, uh, the bottom of the bullish band or 50 moving average. We are slightly not just trading sideways, we're slightly trending downwards we could be, be basically buying time before we go higher uh, but um, but yes at this current stage we are gradually growing going towards a, a 3.99 or 3.95 or to basically 50 moving average at 3.9104 that will most likely bounce from the 50 moving average but it has been really choppy for copper for the last uh, few uh, weeks and uh, at this point rallies to above the 20 exponential could open the door to the top of the bullish band at 4.17 technical indicators they are all well fairly bearish or not fairly bullish at this point macd is bearish the stochastic is bullish the cci is still flat and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at gold so gold has uh, fallen basically apart today as uh, was expected. So usually when you stay this uh, this long at a certain point or a certain moving average and you don't manage to break above the moving average, it tends to break to the downside. And that's basically what we saw here today where it fell nearly 2%. So at this point, uh, rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into as we basically have been seeing it has offered major resistant right here and here all the way here so target here will most likely be 1700 and then basically these previous lows technical indicators are all turning around and are looking fairly bearish at this current stage so let's look at silver silver very similar thing here we are basically testing the 200 moving average and are actually trading right underneath the 200 moving average 
24.65 is basically where we're trading at this at this current stage we'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average in the next day or you know, basically in the, this week if this um, trend continues rally towards the 20 exponential at the 25.53 will mostly be sold into as we've seen uh, the last few uh, trading days or by a few weeks. Technical indicators are all turning around, so momentum is to the downside. If we have a crossing here of the 20 and the 200 moving average, we could see this drop to the, towards these previous lows here, I give, or, give or take it 22 to 21 uh, dollars. Rally above the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50 at the 26, and then probably toward 27 and a half. So let's look at the uh, platinum. So platinum is basically, well, basically all over the place. We have this rally towards the 20 exponential, and then we tried to break above the 20 exponential, and basically ended up where we basically started. Taking the indicators, they are very mixed. MACD is flat, sarcastic, is uh, very bearish. MACD, uh, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So it is it is uh, fairly hopeless to say where we're going at this point. A break above the 20 exponential could open the door to... At 1235 uh, break below the 50 could open the door to 1224 so let's look at palladium which had a horrible day today so we fell roughly five percent all the way down to the previous uh, previous uh, resistant level at the three uh, 2.5 at this current stage it looks like we are bouncing off the 20 exponential at the at the previous high so we were trending uh, trading sorry within this square for a uh, really long time and as you can see we have basically bounced off this this square where we basically topped here topped here and also topped there and we fell towards the, towards this area here and now we're bouncing off that and that is a fairly bullish shine so this move here was always going to have a major pullback just took basically a week and a half before we saw this pullback towards the 20 exponential and at this current stage we are it looks like we're bouncing off the 20 exponential if we break below that then that could open the door all the way down to the 50 down here at 3.2.395 uh, technical indicators are otherwise turn all turning around and are looking very negative at this current stage but this 20 exponential is still holding so let's look at aluminium so aluminium um, has started to uh, break down as we have seen uh, for the last well month and a half where we have rallied towards the top of the bullish band and then broken down towards the middle rally broken down and then continue so we saw basically on friday this rally towards the top and now we saw this breakdown and we'll most likely head towards the middle of the bullish band at the 2.193. Taking the indicators are turning around. Some of them are still bullish, but uh, but they are looking more bearish at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has had a run at the 20 exponential and got rejected. It probably will not have happened anything until we basically get into this corner where the 20 and the 200 moving average basically will meet then we'll break to the upside or break to the downside technically at the moment uh, 20, 200 moving average is offering quite a lot of support so it uh, it at the moment uh, it is impossible it'll basically be a gamble to say where we are basically going because it is not clear where this is going at this current stage so let's look at sugar so sugar continues to drop. Uh, we fell towards uh, 0 0.1483. Uh, and at this moment, it looks like the 200 moving average is going to be the target. We'll probably have a rally towards the 20 exponential like we saw here, which will be sold into. Uh, but it is looking just more, ne more negative for sugar by every day. And... Uh, We'll mo most likely not find the floor until we go all the way down to 0 0.1416. Technical indicators are all looking dreadful. So rallies towards the 20 exponential, they'll most likely be sold into. And the bottom will be 
the 200 moving average, which also was the previous lows over here. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did uh, rally and then yes, nothing really happened uh, today. Uh, we could see this rally towards the 20 expansion, but that also will most likely be sold into. We have this crossing here of the 20 and the 50, which I haven't seen for basically you have to go all the way back to here. This is in, um, in May in 2020 when we had the crossing of the 20 and the 50. So there is a trend reversal here and the trend is basically negative at this current stage. So rallies towards a uh, give or take 0 0.80, 67, that will most likely be sold into. And the target here will most likely be the 200 moving average at first. And that is down at 0 0.7193. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa, still this very same thing. We're just... Uh, basically been really choppy trading here so first of all we have the high zero to 2.8 lows here at give or take 2.2 uh, middle uh, range here is 2.6 and then 2.370 uh, at the moment 200 moving average is offering quite a lot of resistance so we could see this break towards the 2.366 uh, range if that breaks, then we can go all the way down to 2.233. Otherwise, I, I haven't traded this for a real long time. And the main, main reason is basically it's all over the place. And uh, it is just a complete gamble to trade this at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is also gradually grinding towards 600 and the bottom of the, uh, and also the 200 moving average at 586. Technical indicators there are all bearish at this current stage. Rallies towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into, as we have basically seen uh, for the last uh, basically month and a half. So, yes, it's not looking good for wheat, but uh, target here will most likely be 600, and, before, and we'll see a rally from there, and uh, then towards the 200 moving average at 586. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and follow the button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on Etero. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.